Well, is this a pandemic? I mean, yes, we agree this is an epidemic. Is this a pandemic? Well, this map from the International Narcotics Control Board shows where most of the opioids are. Don't worry about the, the unit, it's just a unit. The red is really high amounts of opioids in those countries, and they're distributed to those countries. White is obviously very low. And you might look at this and go, okay, Australia, Canada, the US, Germany, sure, you know, we're up there, and some of these other countries, not so much. Let me tell you, it's really an American problem. Okay, so here's some bullet points that highlight this fact. We constitute 4.6 of the world's population and we consume 80% of the world's opioids. We consume 99% of the world's hydrocodone. There are enough prescribed opioids for each American to take a prescription opioid every four hours for a month. It's estimated that 2.1 million Americans, 1% of the country, or a little less than, with prescription, has a prescription opioid substance use disorder. And that was in 2012, probably higher now. And it's estimated that nearly 500,000 are addicted to heroin, and that was in 2012. Now you might think we're number one in this, and therefore maybe we have superior outcomes in pain management. More opioids, right? We should have better pain management. Not at all. There is nothing that says, there's no outcome that has ever demonstrated we have better pain control in this country. And we're gonna talk about why that is and how actually ineffective opioids can be for pain.